What's up guys, it is Hot Wheels Tournaments and welcome to another Matchbox Moving Parts case review or mixed review. This is 2024 Mix 1. Yes, we are into 2024 now. This is a 7 car release. There are 8 cars per case. I only have 6 of the releases because one of the releases, the green Ford Mustang convertible, I just didn't want, want that much. I have the red version, the first edition, which I really like. There's the 70th anniversary I just didn't feel the need to get the green one. I didn't think it was a completely worthy addition to my collection, so I decided to leave it out. But I have the other seven from this release because I all thought they were really good, and I wanted to talk about them. The other thing about Mix 1, this is the debut of the new packaging, which we will talk about as we get going. Anyways, let's start off with 2023. The Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat gets its third color. We have seen it, what, in blue and purple now? and it is going yellow with its third release. Now, the point of this packaging is it is completely recyclable. You can recycle or compost everything that comes in this packaging, which means all that plastic had to go. Talk of the town has been the cars are exposed. No covering on them, so you can see some of the car, but not all of it. Personally, I prefer if you are able to see all the car because you can see the tampos and any defects in the car. You're not exposed to the whole car here, so you might have some issues, but I do respect the fact that this is a green alternative. Also, it's way easier to stack. I didn't hate the old moving parts packaging all that much. I have an example of it here. Um, it was a little bit difficult to store. A lot of people despised it. I wasn't the biggest hater. I like that it showed off the moving parts, um, but this one is much cooler. You have more featured card art that shows what the moving part is, and, um, you know, it's a lot easier to stack up and things like that. You can fold these together, you know, put them how you want pretty easily, so can't complain about that. Also, you can stand them up uh, unlike the old packaging, which you just kind of had to leave like this. If you try to stand them up. It's just going to fall down. Anyways, enough on the packaging. What we really care about is the cars themselves. People have also been commenting this was going to be, you know, easy to steal. It's it's not. It's probably harder to steal and takes just as much effort as it takes to steal a normal Hot Wheels or Magic Matchbox car already. Anyways, here we go. Let's open them up. So you open up on the sides a lot like you do the uh, boxes. And then you can see that the wheels are inserted here. So you kind of have to pop the car out. So, yep, you pop it out. And boom, out pops the car of its little container. Anyways, let's talk about the Dodge Charger SRT. Really, really nice casting. It always has been right here. You can see we get some license plates, some taillights. Side deco, we get the Hellcat logo. I believe that's what that is. Yes, the Hellcat logo, which is nice to see. You get the headlights. You have that grill as well. And you flip it open. Unfortunately, not a fully detailed engine on this one. This one is less tampo -less, but that's okay. This is a great car. It's always been a great casting. That hood is a seamless transition for the most part. Um, and it's been one of the better models they've released in moving parts, which is saying a lot because there have been a lot of fantastic releases. But the yellow one, very worthy addition. I hope we get a red one at some point, just that classic Hellcart, uh, Hellcat color. You know, we will see, though. But maybe the best addition, the blue's really nice, the purple's all right. I think the yellow might be the best, especially with those blacked-out wheels. It looks super, super cool. Let's keep moving along, though. The Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. You can see on this one the opening part is the doors, which is cool to see. Flip it around too if you guys want to see the back at all. You can just it just talks about the packaging for the most part. Compostable inside piece, uh, made from recycled metal. All super cool. Love that they're doing that. This is what this is the second release for the FJ40 in moving parts. It was a new model last year, debuted in like a teal or a green, right? I'm not exactly sure what the best way to describe that color is. The doors do look a little bit weird on this one. They are super noticeable, which I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of. But as we pull it out. You can see you get a big plastic front right here. I really wish that was metal, but, you know, it's all right. Anyways, as far as tampos goes, you get a very nice headlight and grill section done here. Nothing really on the side, but you do get that moving part door, which this is not the easiest moving part to open from what I remember. Um, I always hate picking at this because I feel like I'm going to see if the other door is easier. Yeah, this is a really hard moving part. Anyways, rear, you see you get some basic detailing right back here with some, you know, taillights, some bumper stuff right here. I wish we had a license plate. Um, it, this looks a little weird without the license plate. I wish we had some detailing there. I'd love for him to do a Colorado plate at some time. Uh, I'm from Colorado. I can't remember a Matchbox model with a Colorado plate, but I think especially on like an FJ40 like this, those green mountains would look so aesthetic. And then we'll keep trying to pick at the door. 
Um, we do get the roof. This is tampoed on this white. Um, very nice section done here. Again, this is why I would like this packaging. A tampo like this would be very prone to being like scuffed up or like nicked, and I'd want the best version. But obviously, in this, you wouldn't be able to see it. Old packaging, not an issue. Flip it over, you can see right away um, if it's done. Fortunately, the one I got here is very well done, and the door is just, it's simply not wanting to cooperate so we might not show off the moving part on it we, we all know the door opens it's not a new model so i don't think it's particularly important to show it off but that's the toyota fj40 keep on moving along the gmc hummer ev gets its what third release now i believe right uh, it debuted in 2022. It was gray. That gray version was really, really nice. And then last year, I believe it was part of like the 70th anniversary uh, set that was orange. Um, that release is whatever. But if we can pop this one out, this one's really stuck in there. See, these things are not easy to steal. It's probably honestly more work because not only do you have to open up the side, which takes as much effort as a blister, but then you've got to pull this whole piece out and pop out the wheels, which you can't do from behind so you have to open up the side and then pop out the compostable part and then pop the car out of the compostable part so a lot of work there anyways this is a beautiful 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 blue taking a look at the car no real side deco to talk of um maybe those headlights are on the side or on the back i'm not technically sure but you know they work you can see them from the side very well you go to the back you get the hummer st uh, tampa which appears to be a little off center but that's whatever um you can see how they use the inside piece right here um, this inside piece that makes up the bed and makes up the seats on the inside. You can see how they use that to layer. So you get the wheel wells outline and then you get the multi-layering on the back. So you get the red, the black, and the silver base to give the exhaust. Love the way that is all layered up. Looks super nice. Love the wind piece too. They obviously give it a little bit of tint. A lot of times when they did this black tint, it'd be too black. You couldn't see the inside. You can see the inside on this one pretty well. You can still see the seats through the lighting there, which is nice. Love to see that. Come around to the front, you get the Hummer logo again tampoed on there with the headlights. Moving part on this one is the hood. Pop that right up. Unfortunately, it doesn't stay uh, open. Uh, you'd expect an engine there, but as we mentioned, this is the Hummer EV. So there is no engine to be tampoed because that is more in the base of the car. So it simply functions like a giant trunk space as it does on the real car. Very cool. Um, this is a fantastic casting. It's been very well done. My opinion, probably the best release. The gray was nice, but this blue is very, very pretty in my opinion. Speaking of very pretty blues, this has been the best moving parts release, I think, from the past maybe ever. There have been some great moving parts cars, but this is the best casting they have done. The Porsche 911 Carrera 4S, in particular the 2020 model year, is getting its third release. It debuted in red and was the talk of diecast collecting. It was absolutely fantastic. I absolutely loved it. Um, it was a home run. It is probably going to be the best release for this casting ever. It then went gray with gold wheels last year for 2023. And this year, it goes blue with gold wheels. And look, that red may be the best, but this is no slouch itself. Looks absolutely awesome. Very, not quite the same blue as the Chevy. It goes a little darker, a little more navy, but this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at where we get that grill work. That is not tampo. That is all part of the base or the uh, casting. So that's all molded in. You get some beautiful, those classic Porsche headlights. You get the Porsche emblem right there. Unfortunately, one thing I am starting to notice, that compostable or compostable part is scuffing up some of like the like the windshield. You can see there at the windshield, those white marks, that's from the compost. So I don't know. I don't have any water on me. I don't know if you can just wipe that off it. So yeah, that's unfortunate. A little scratched up there. You don't like to see that. If the compostable inside is going to start scratching up the plastic, especially on the windshield, it becomes super noticeable. You can see a big long scratch on the rear here. That's not good. You don't want to see that. You don't want your packaging creating defects and problems within your actual die cast model. I don't have a second Porsche yet. Hopefully I find one at some point. I'm going to use it for a supercars tournament. So I'll have to open up another one and see if that's a consistent issue because that is, that's less than ideal. You don't want to see that. Anyways, as for the others, you get the 911 4S license plate. You get Porsche and Carrera 4S tampered on the rear with some taillights and all that good stuff. But yeah, this is just fantastic casting. See here, you get those opening doors. 
this car just looks so good with the opening doors from every angle. Looks beautiful. Really nice thing about that blue color is there is some slight seams here on the Porsche. You get that with some moving parts models. You can notice the seams, but that blue color hides it really well. So you don't notice it that much as you might with the red version. So yeah, this is a fantastic release. Um, hopefully I find one that's not scuffed up. I'll have to see if I can take like a rag with some water and wipe that down and see if it improves it. But like, for example, that scratch right there on the rear, that's not coming off. That is that is in the plastic. This looks like it might just be like scrapage. So hopefully I can wipe it off. You can see there's a little on the uh, roof here too. So hopefully that doesn't become a trend with these cars. Hopefully that's a one-off thing. But, you know, if it does become consistent, that's a problem. Uh, in my opinion, moving along, the other car that's the big name in the set, the 1996 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4. This car debuted in 2022 as well. We got silver with gold wheels. Um, it was a fantastic release. In my opinion, probably going to be the best release we get of this car as well. We got it last year in blue, and now we get a very similar version rocking the same wheels in black. So, again, a little challenging to pop these out. Kind of surprising. You can see how those wheels are, like, locked in. That's crazy. Very smart. They knew people were going to want to steal these with them being exposed, and they have locked these cars in. They they are they are locked down. Anyways, you can see here, first of all, I noticed no scuffs on my plastic windshield. like to see that. Anyways, we get some nice five spokes on this one. Turn it around. We get to the rear. We see some detailing. We get the taillights, the Lancer, and Mitsubishi emblems. Again, I like a license plate. I think it looks a little weird without the license plate. You get the license plate. They also hide like fun Easter eggs in there all the time, but not the end of the world. Uh, I always love that the spoiler is plastic. The black seems to match up pretty well here. The shade is pretty similar. Sometimes you run into the issue when you have a metal body and then a plastic part, particularly a spoiler. The colors don't match up if they try to do the same color and it looks really weird. They've been great with this model so far. The silver matched up, the blue matched up, and the black matched up, and you know, it does so here just fine. Get headlights on this one. Very, very nice. Open it up. Hopefully the hood is, or the engine is detailed, which it is fully tampoed with the Mitsubishi uh, emblem on that engine. Lots of little details in there. That looks absolutely amazing. Love that it stays open too. Look at how wide that hood opens. Some hoods don't open like super wide. This one does a great job. It stays open. You can fully appreciate the detailing on that engine. This is an absolutely fantastic version of the Mitsubishi. Love to see that. And for the sixth of these seven cars in this release, as I mentioned, we won't be talking about the Mustang today. We have the 2021 Ford Bronco getting its third release. This one debuted in 2022 as well. One of five cars in this set to do so, or six cars, including that Mustang. It debuted in orange. It then went blue. And now we get it in red. I also believe this is about to be a Mattel Creations um, exclusive. That didn't look particularly appealing to me at 25 bucks. It just looked like a premium release. Anyways, we're not talking about the Mattel Creations release. We're talking about the Moving Parts release. This is a very good casting. Love the big Bronco grill. That gray looks a little bit awkward on this one. I think the other two releases have been black. This grill, this looks a little, especially considering the gray like grill doesn't match the gray base. It looks a little bit off, so I'm not too sure about that, but still love we get front decaling with the Bronco logo and the headlights. Come around to the side, not much going on here. The opening part on this one, of course, is the doors open nice and wide. You can see just how wide that wingspan kind of is when you open those doors. You do the same thing with the Porsche. Open up the doors and, you know, these cars, the doors open very wide. You get a nice wingspan, you know, you wanna do a display diorama, it'll take up a good amount of space. But you get that nice little uh, side mirrors on the side here. You come around, you get that spare tire, which love it. They've done this consistently with this car. The spare tire is molded. It can only be this type of tire. Um, they can't really decal it because it's technically like a plastic part molded into the interior. But they match it with the wheel every time. So the spare tire matches the wheels, you know, something that, you know, isn't, you know, super important, but it's really nice that they do it because it keeps a continuity and a nice feel to it. But you come around to the rear, you see taillights, the Bronco logo, and the Ford logo, and you've got a nice release. All in all, um, we're off to a little bit of a slow start in the sense that there's no new castings. Lots of new moving parts castings this year. It's going to be expanded from what it was. I can't remember exactly how many cars they're doing, but we have seven castings in this set. I showed off six of them here today. The highlights, obviously, the Porsche is the superstar, as it always has been when it's released. That Mitsubishi is no slouch either. The Dodge Charger also 
Very, very well done. And then the Toyota, the GMC Hummer, and the Bronco are three very nice additions as well. But that's all for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite was, and I'll see you all later. Peace.